guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to come on here first before I wash my hair just to show you guys how much product residue I have in my hair from just like a previous product just so you guys can see kind of like before and after I hope to get out all of this residue when I wash my hair I'm going to be using the Cantu cleansing cream shampoo and it's supposed to have a rich lather that removes heavy buildup so this isn't necessarily like buildup per se it's more so residue from the products because I washed my hair less than a week ago so it's really just the products made this white stuff in my hair so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get all of that out and then I'm going to use a conditioner I don't know why I don't have the Cantu like shea butter collection conditioner but I don't so I'm going to use the Carol's Daughter cocoa cream conditioner just any conditioner will work so I'm going to do both of those steps and I will be right back. So I'm finished washing my hair and the shampoo, I ended up washing each section twice to make sure that I got out all of the buildup. I did not look at my hair, so it could be some specks here and there, but it's okay hopefully. I do want to mention that I did not get that super dry stringy feeling even after shampooing it twice which is so good because I've used some shampoos where I wash it the first time and my hair feels stringy and just dry and this one didn't do that. Little residue specks are gone especially in this area it was really a lot over here so it's pretty much gone which is good. So I'm going to do a traditional twist out on my my entire head and I'm going to use the Cantu products as well because you're really I, you're really supposed to use the entire collection to get the best results I'm a bad natural hair person so most of the time I will mix and match you know today I'm going to use like I use the shampoo I'm also going to use the curl activator cream which I guess I didn't use the whole collection I don't know what I'm talking about I'm not using the whole collection <laughs> so I shampooed my hair with Cantu and now I'm going to use Cantu for my curling products as you guys know Cantu is one of my favorite brands as far as hair care I've never used this though and I'm going to be using this curl activator cream for my twist outs and I'm also I'm going to be using the LLC method as well so for the oil I'm going to use jojoba oil and I just got this off Amazon so with each section I'm going to make sure that it is wet so I'm going to spray it with some water and then I'm going to section it off and I'm learning how to do better twist outs on myself so one of the things that I'm learning is to take smaller sections because I have so much hair. So I'm going to go in with just about that much hair, which is a very small section for what I normally, well, what I have been doing for the past few months or so. So I've been taking smaller sections and I did just recently trim my ends. And I wish I would have gotten this on camera, but there are plenty of videos out there and next time my hair needs a trim, I will film it. So because I already have the L, which is the liquid, the water, I'm now going to go in with the O, which is the jojoba oil. So I'm coating my hair in that. Then I'm going to go in with the curl activator cream and apply a little bit. I'm gonna apply about that much. That may be too much. <laughs> But I've been using a lot of products here lately just to make sure that my hair gets the definition that it needs. Yeah, that was a little too much. But, you know, I always start with that first one and then I'm able to gauge more. By the time I finish with my whole head, I'll know exactly the perfect amount. So don't use that much. So I applied that and I'm just going to wipe my hands off with the rest of the product that I had. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite comb. It actually separates like this. So it really helps to detangle your hair and it doesn't like pull out hair that isn't ready to come out basically. It's really, really nice. I got it from Target. I will leave a link down in the description box if you want to check it out. If you don't have this brush, you need this brush. <laughs> so definitely check it out and then just twist it. 
nothing crazy whatsoever and one thing that i noticed like after i did trim my ends my twist out looked better and were more complete so, like the entire twist was more complete because i didn't have like those thin ends on the end so if you're having trouble with your twist out looking complete you may need a trim if you don't trust yourself then i would definitely go to a hairstylist to have them trim it as opposed to doing it yourself all right so i'm gonna take a similar size section go in with the oil it's gonna be repetitive at this point i'm just going to do my entire head with those twists and then at the end i forgot to even mention it but at the end i do twist it around my finger i'll show you guys for this twist but i'm sure you guys have seen that before so i put the oil on and i'm making sure to get the ends as well because your ends are the oldest part of your hair so you want to make sure that that is hydrated then a little bit of the curl activator cream i took about this much this time half of what i used the first time i'm gonna go in so this hair product feels pretty good hopefully we don't get any residue but i definitely let you guys know in the morning all right then after i do that start at the ends and just detangle all the way up to the roots I always start at the ends because you don't want to yank out your hair. And if you start like at the root and go down, you pull out a lot of hair. All right, and then I'm just gonna twist. So make sure you start as close to the base as possible so that everything is defined when you take it down in the morning. And so sometimes I get down to the end and like one section, like one side is done and then I still have a lot left. So I combine that and then I go in and I start a new twist basically and twist it down so that everything is defined by the morning. And then what I didn't show for the first twist, I'm gonna show now. I just take it around my finger and kind of twirl it so that the ends are curly. And there we go. So I'm gonna finish that on my entire head because like I said, it's repetitive and I will come back at the end and show you just how I put on my scarf to go to sleep. So I just finished all of the twists on my entire head because I kind of wanted to make sure that my hair was a little bit drier before I put on my scarf. I did hit it with my blow dryer a little bit. This is the one and only Argan Heat blow dryer and I put it on hot and high and I just kind of did it all over my head. My hair is absolutely nowhere near dry <laughs> but it did dry a little bit more before I put on my scarf so I'm just going to use my satin or silk whatever the material is because you never really know so the scarf is at a triangle so I'm gonna take the base of the triangle and then I'm flipping my twist back so that my hair dries this way so that when I take my twist down they aren't in my face like how you just saw them. So then I'm just going to work it around, make sure my twists are all underneath the scarf and then twist it cause it's a pretty big scarf and then tie it at the front. Just make sure all my twists are in here. Alrighty, and then I will see you guys in the morning. So it's not the next day, it's two days later because I decided I didn't want to take my hair down yesterday. It was dry yesterday, I just, didn't take my hair down so we're going to take it down now now yesterday when I was feeling all on my twists because I did take my scarf off I just didn't take the twist down each individual twist was so it felt so moisturized it still does today just like a little bit less because you know it's like two days later they are like so soft and so hydrated I don't know if it was from the Cantu curl activator you guys will be able to tell me that like if you've tried that before if you feel like it really moisturized your hair or if it was from the combination of that and the jojoba oil. So to take down my twist, I'm going to put a little jojoba oil in this little bowl so that I can keep my fingers coated in the oil, just a little bit of it to kind of prevent frizziness. And yeah, so I'm taking a little bit of the oil and I'm just rubbing it just like a touch of oil. And now I'm going to just take down the twist and I'm gonna start Kind of at the end, twist the whole thing around until it's unraveled and then work my way up the twist. What I would do before is I would start at the very base and then just yank it apart. And I think that was creating like a lot of frizziness. So I'm trying to start at the ends now. I'm gonna get them all undone from the twist first and then I'm gonna start separating them. 
So every twist, every about like two or three twists, I re-oil my fingers. And I'm just working the twist apart, not being too rough whatsoever, or trying not to be too rough. <laughs> So many twists. <laughs> when I was doing them, I didn't realize I twisted so much. I'm still taking down twists. I'm going to separate the twists and hopefully I don't make it too frizzy. Look at that, that already looks frizzy. Mm. So I did do like the twist around my finger at the ends. So for the ones that's getting kind of stuck, I just slow it down and then just slowly separate those apart because I don't want to rip my ends out. So I did get a little bit of residue in some areas. I think I just used a little too much product in those areas, the reason why I got that residue. I do like my results, however. I think it will stay defined for many extra days without me having to retwist it at night. So now I am just fluffing out the roots a bit, and just kind of zhuzhing them up. This side, kind of looks less defined than this side. I probably, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I was about to try to guess to see how that happened, but I don't know. Remember when I said I put my scarf on and pushed the twist back so that my hair would dry up? It looks like it's still kind of dr dried forward just because of the way that I twisted it. So I'm gonna just try to move it backwards it's some residue right here add a little bit of oil to try to make that go away so this is the completed hair look I feel like my hair is a really moisturized this time feeling it isn't dry feeling I don't know if it looks that way my hair just looks dry no matter if I have products in it or if I don't but it feels moisturized and like I won't have to add any products for a lot of days I'm gonna keep working on the hairstyle because I think a few areas are still not as defined as I would like it. So I will be reusing that curl activator cream because I really like my results. And there's like so much body in this twist out because my hair is like shaking all over the place. So I really like, I think that product really just gave life and I feel like my hair is flowing a lot better. And let me know down in the comments if you've tried that product before. And also because I didn't get to use that conditioner in this video let me know if it's good if I should go out and get it so that I can use that in my routine next time so this is the end of the video make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as check out my previous video I did a chit chat get ready with me so make sure you check that out thank you guys again so much for watching and I promise I'll see you guys next time bye guys